feel like I got some good belly air on that one. I felt a good draft on my belly. You're sent, motherfucker. Your turn. Lewis is waiting for you. Put the cookie down! My one side seems to get really strong. Hey. Side, no, I feel like my left side's dragging a bit. Oh. I don't know if that's 3-1 or then. Oh, we'll figure it out. Give me just a little bit of a lift off on 3-1. One. 2-3, one, three, hop! Good. Stalled long enough. Fucking pull, pull two stories. <laughs> you know you're getting tired when you're monologuing. All right, here we go. On three. One, two, three. Up. Good spot on that. I like that. Am I going to... You alright? Yeah. Got a little dirty at the end? Yeah. Alright. Got it. Yep. Uh, 
and go. Got it? Yes. It's bueno. I might as well. I felt that one though. Alright, here we go. Good. Got it. Right in the meat and potatoes. Let's go. Last time. Got it. Three. That was a good last one. That's good. Hey guys, Kurt Haas here, as you all know. Um, so, uh, wrap up on today's uh, bench workout, chest workout. Uh, as I was telling Lewis, it was one of my favorite style of workouts because we worked a lot of volume on the bench, working triples, uh, a bunch of sets. Uh, working some new technique with the head up and better leg drive with the legs further back that I learned from uh, uh, Scott Mendelson when he was here a couple weeks ago. Uh, and then a good shoulder routine, so we just hit the shoulder press, work triples on that as well. So it was like triple day on the main lifts. And then we finished with some nice volume on the uh, Nautilus tricep machine or the Atlantis tricep machine. Five sets of 15 just to get a lot of blood into the triceps. So the whole workout was three exercises, but good volume and working hard in each one so that when I was done bench, I'm done chest. When I was done to shoulder press, my shoulders are done, right? And when I was done the tricep volume, you know, we're done. It's not like there's a lot of left to go, hey, let's do a third exercise. So, you know, simple, work really hard, focus on it, um, but then get the fuck out, right? To me, that's those workouts are just as important overall. Weird week, as I was telling Lewis, um, I think I worked out Monday, and then I didn't work out much during the week. It's just my training partner. I trained with 7 a.m.s, came down with uh, pneumonia, so it's not an excuse, but it messes with a little bit of the rhythm and stuff. So normally he comes in at 7, I stop what I'm doing, and then we go do a workout. Whereas he wasn't in, um, and I'm like, oh, I'll still do the workout, but then next thing you know, I'm at the front counter for 20 extra minutes doing something else and stuff. So I just didn't get as many of the workouts in, and in the last three weeks or so, I've been hitting the gym five, six, even seven workouts a, a week and stuff, and you know, different stuff we added the conditioning. Um, so this morning when I woke up, I actually felt kind of hungover. I felt kind of just tight and lethargic and it's just because I hadn't worked out as much. So, you know, it's a balance between working out too much and not working out enough, especially as we get older. Um, so uh, I was really, you know, pumped about getting the workout in today. And again, you know, having Lewis coming in makes me more accountable because I could have slept for half an hour more this morning. I could have found something else to do and stuff, even though I want to work out. So again, right, we talked about it uh, in one of the podcasts that will be coming out soon. The value of a training partner is super important. So, so uh, you know, check out the, I'm glad you checked out the workout. If you have any questions, as always, you can reach me at curthoss at gmail.com. And we'll talk to you guys next week.